over in Victoria. Um, everyone's starting to rip out their dry suits or getting into dry suits, which is a great way to dive comfortably. Unfortunately, sometimes you can get some leaks in them. So what we're going to show you now is how to detect the, the leaks in a nice, easy way. Um, there's obviously service centres that need to do the repairs um, and can do the leak test for you, but this is a real easy, quick way to see where you might have a little bit of a problem with your suit. So what we have here, we've got a, a well-used suit. This one's done um, yeah, a fair few dives. She's my suit. Um, and I do come out of the water with a bit of a wet leg. So we're just gonna do a bit of a test to see why that's happening. Now, the first thing you have to do um, is plug your suit up. Essentially, we're gonna be inflating this. So what I've done in here is I've just put a, um, a glass. All right, so I'll show you in this one. Okay, so this is just a normal glass. Now be really careful when you're doing this because as you inflate it, um, if you're using something that's really small, it can pop out the other end. But what we're doing is essentially we're just wedging the seals closed. So I'm just going to pop that in there. You can use like things like deodorant cans, whatever is going to be slightly bigger than what your seal is. Okay. We also need to plug the neck. Okay. Our wonderful, um, gorgeous, you know, Nescafe blend. We um, spurge on the coffee here evidently. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug that neck seal too. So we're going to pop that in there. Okay. And we're going to zip it up. Okay. Just how you would if you were going to wear it in the water. Um, obviously with your wrists and your head sealing those holes. All right. Now, when we zip it up, what we need to do, um, you want to have your tank with your inflator hose connected. All right. So we're going to pop that on and then we're going to start filling it up. All right. So you can see it's inflating and it's going to keep inflating. It'll take a little bit of time, guys. Okay. So we're almost where we need to be. So what we need to do, um, and ideally you do this before you prepare it, like this, is you need to get some solution ready. So this one's already pre-prepared. Essentially, we've got a bit of um, bubbly solution in here. If you don't have anything specific for leak detecting, you can use good old dishwashing liquid. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a squirt in. So just two squirts, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon and a bit. Okay, and we're going to put some water in that. So what essentially we're doing is we're creating a solution that when air goes through it, okay, that'll be plenty. Give that a stir around. You can see how that there's bubbles in there. Okay, so essentially when we put that on the suit, if there is any holes on the inside of the suit, it's gonna cause bubbles. It's like when you blow bubbles um, when you're a kid. Actually, I love still doing it now with my kids. But when you blow your bubble rings and that sort of stuff, we're doing the same type thing. So by having a solution like that, we get back down here, I can just inflate that again. And I can put that around. So you can start with your seams. All right. And you can see how there's sort of the bubbles here, but you'll see actual bubbling itself. All right, so we can go through nice and full and you can go through like that. Or we've got it already prepared where we can spray. I'll get a couple of these things happening to see if we can actually find this leak. All right, so you essentially just keep going through and we'll only do this for a little bit um, and then we'll put together another video when we actually find the, the leak. So it does take a little bit of time all right. Now I have seen people try and um, inflate the suit like this and shove it in water. Um, that does sort of work, but it's a lot more, um, I suppose it's entertaining for you to watch to do it because it's not as efficient as trying to do it this way because trying to manipulate where the air is. So it looks like the front is actually okay. So let's turn it around. Okay, it's starting to deflate a little bit. Really pump that up. Okay, so let's see if we can find. Oh, no, not there. Um, so this is really good to do. Obviously, it does take a bit of time, so it is better to sometimes get experts to do this. If you've got the patience, you can do this yourself. Um, and then we'll do another video on how to actually patch it. Um, a few 
use three of these. I know, let me put a bit more. No. Um, yeah, so we'll, look, I'll keep testing it through, but essentially, oh, oh, we've just spat it out. So this is why you have to be careful with what you stick in because with that extra pressure, sometimes this does shoot out. So I'm gonna keep testing it through here, but now you know the basics on how to actually test your suit. All right guys, it may have taken us around seven minutes to find the leak, but we finally have. So uh, if you have a look here, we're gonna put some more air in. So you know how I was telling you about the bubbles that come out if you've got a hole? You can see what's happening here. So I just put a lot more of that bubble solution and water on and as we put the air, the air's pushing it out and making it all bubbly. So that there, that tiny little pinprick, you can't even see it normally. Should we put some more solution on there? That is what is creating me to have at least a litre of water into my leg as I'm diving. All right, so the tiniest little things can flood your suit. So we'll show you again how to patch it but that gives you an idea of what you're actually looking for when it comes to leak testing your suit. All right, so there's a nice quick way, or maybe not so quick, but that's one of the easiest way to get yourself um, in an idea of where the holes in your suit are. And then you'd obviously need to test them um, and sort of fix them, which we'll show you in a later video. Go to your dive store, go to a repair centre. They can do this all for you really simply as well. Okay, really hope that helped stay dry this um, winter when it comes to dry suit diving and we'll see you on our next educational series video. Like, comment, share down the bottom and subscribe to our YouTube channel and let us know if you want us to do a video on anything that has been a niggly little thing in your head as well. Awesome guys, see you soon.